And hello, my brave nice princesses and princesses. We are back with another episode. Let's play Vermilion Watch. Fleshbound. And this happened again. Wow. Magic. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hello, Rufus. This is for you. That's it. Nothing about what the. Uh, 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 no. Okay, so the college is out of the question. So let's go to. Um. Go to the graveyard. Cause why the heck not? The graveyard. Careful. Strange things lurk there at night. Boss is waiting. Go out with the auction. I'm going, I'm going. Just make sure there aren't any gate crashes. We certainly are seeing that one guy a lot. That guy we keep ended up. The guy with the crossbow. Also, a nice jump scare, but. But it didn't work. We need a grindstone for that. Interesting. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, this crow is really making a racket. Sorry, buddy. I don't know why, but that always works. When it comes down to bugs. Thanks, buddy. Okay. It's not a dead end. That's no dead end. That's a door. Yes, because they're bats. Yeah, you said you knew. Even though you say that. Stop. You can't go any further without identification. If you're a new recruit, you know what to show me. Ah. 
I'm Edgar Price, your new boss for all intents and purposes. Come along, I'll introduce you to everyone. Edgar Price. Confound it! My chair broke. I'm too nervous about the auction to fix it. Can you? Yeah, we're going to have to anyway because he's hanging in midair. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just a normal bystander. Oh. Please hold. Please hold, Lupin. Okay, what did you do now? Yes, I'm specifically clicking on this tube. Skillfully done. Now, onward and upward. I've got an auction to run. Please hold, Lupin. Just hang in there. I'll rescue you once I, you know, deal with this these this problem. Very interesting. Meh. 
must see. You must get me out of here. They're selling bodies. Oh. All the great keepers are gone, and the auction is running late. This is a mess. They were here not long ago, whispering about a dog in the drains. Whatever that means. Then you'll just have to do. Here, find the lots on this list. And no complaining, or you'll end up like Lupin. Comforter isn't on top, and the actor isn't near the craftsman, even diagonally. The seafarers are in the middle column, and no women are next to each other, even diagonally. The butcher is on the left, and there are no tools in the middle row. Sorry, I didn't exactly understand. You can use the chain to bring in the lots. Turn on the spotlight so we can begin. Okay. Gentlemen, welcome to the necropolis. I'm Edgar Price, your auctioneer. I'm sure you've already reviewed our lots, so let us start the bidding at 400 pounds. We don't even know what's in it. Sold. Next, please. Sold. Next, please. I have no idea what I'm doing. Sold. Next, please. Lot number four goes to the gentleman at the back. This concludes the auction. Thank you. I just chose the highest numbers. Lot number four was extremely overbid. Something is wrong. I just know it. Their belongings are stored in the drain. They might give us a clue. I can't look without raising suspicion, but you can. Of course. Be the guy in the hat's a good guy. Great. I was gonna say, maybe the guy in the hat is a good guy. Because if he's trying to stop the auction then I'd actually be okay, but he's been trying to kill us too, so...
four, five, six. Three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. I nailed that one. Make sure Schnitzer got the right lot. Yes, right lot and leaves unharmed. Price is useless now, so get rid of him. Lupin and all the evidence of our involvement. Oh boy. I have no idea what I'm doing. Same. Hurry! The Red Queen will have our heads if we botch the delivery! Yes, Professor. So the professor's working for the Red Queen. That is interesting. Right on time. I was getting bored. The graveyard wasn't abandoned. Hmm. <laughs> Not unexpected. Let's see what this box has to tell us. Cool. Looks like a sailor's compass. We'll check for maritime events around a date on the box. Maybe something here can tell us more about the ship. 
Perhaps. It was, it was Viking me, that's for sure. A Nautilus. I know a ship by that name. We should look at its crew. This comb tells us that the Nautilus crew has well-groomed facial hair. This was no ordinary sailor. Look for a highly decorated captain. That's Captain Nemo, a brilliant seafarer turned smuggler. He's been presumed dead for 20 years. Wow, so now we're getting Nemo. This game's amazing. So we have Lupin, we have Nemo, so who- I wonder who the lady is. That is awesome. Where to now, young hawks? Now to Bridgeton. Bridgetown isn't exactly a safe neighborhood. Take this. Oh no.
Okay. Okay. Summery drinks. That's lemon. Evergreen forest. Maria Shelley. Hmm. Hmm, that's an interesting name. Well, when we come back, guys, one for the man to watch. Until then, leave a like and subscribe because there's always room for more. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.